Let's talk about that. Let's start out with our first building block and talk about beliefs. As I said earlier, beliefs are so very important because they, they affect your decision-making and your decision-making affects your outcome. Buy and hold. You've heard buy and hold, right? Buy and hold for the long term. You never want to get out of the market because you just want to buy and hold, let the market work for you. You're a long-term investor. Okay, and then that coincides with it's always great to be in the market. So this is a real convenient little uh, combination of theories that's easy to talk about, it's easy to sell, and uh, this is what they do. So they talk about this, and see, when I was uh, you know, in, in, the, in the business, one of the things I like to do is I like to go back, and I like to look at history, and I like to see what history has to say. What does history have to say about the stock market? And I talk about this, and I write about it, because people will tell me, they'll say, you know, Bob, it's totally irrelevant. It's totally irrelevant because, and my favorite catchphrase, this time it's different. Okay? It's time. It's different this time, Bob. You know, you can look back at history. Things have changed. And uh, you know, I'm not going to argue that point. Things have changed. Uh, it is different this time from the standpoint of technology. It is different this time in cultures and societies. Where we uh, look different, act different. But you see, there's something that's not different today. And it's human emotion. You see, human emotion is changeless. Fear is fear, greed is greed, power is power, love is love. It's the same as it was in the 1920s. It's the same as it was in biblical times. You know, it's interesting about the Bible. You probably heard me say this, and so is the most amazing statistic, is that money was referenced or written about more than any other topic in the Bible. Let that sink in. More than any other topic. And any time that you read a reference or you read a passage about money, it's, it's almost as if you were reading something today. Because it involves emotion, okay? Emotion drives the stock market. Greed drives the stock market. Fear drives the stock market. Missing out, the feeling of I'm missing out on something. It's all very emotion-based. So what happens is, is that you, uh, people are greedy. They make greedy decisions. They, take it, they abuse power. We get into problems in the markets. It's the same thing today as it was in the 20s, and it will be the same thing 20, 30, 40 years from now. It happens. So that's why you look in the past and you can see that there are times that create a lot of risk. And we're in one of those times right now that there is a lot of risk out there. Mark Twain's got a great quote. It goes something like this. He says, history doesn't repeat itself. It rhymes. Okay? And we're rhyming right now. A lot with some periods of time. And I don't say this is a gloom or doom message. Don't take anything like that. What matters is, are you protected for risk? Are you invested the appropriate way? That's what matters.